it's time for a little experiment here. Um, this video is going to consist of these 60 volt snappers. And, you know, these are complete. From what I can tell, I've got two of them, and I'll show all three of them in the video here. But, brand new, never been used. Two of them. And then the other one's got like peeling stickers and stuff on it, like I said, outside for a little while. Um, so I don't know if that one's good, but I was trying to figure out a way, since none of them came with any batteries whatsoever, I was trying to figure out a way I could test them to make sure that they were good. But, you know, obviously I've got to buy a battery in order to test that, or I guess properly test it. Um, and I guess the only problem is these mowers take um, 4 amp hour batteries versus everything else that takes 2 amp hour batteries because you have the weed eater and you have the hedge trimmer and a blower that takes the same battery. Um, so the easiest way for me to do this was to actually buy one of these weed eaters. I was able to get it for around $115. Um, and it comes with a 2 amp hour 60 volt battery, which I know when I had these last time, the 4 amp hours got probably around, probably close to an hour of run time, maybe even just a little bit longer. So I'm guessing that this one's going to get around 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and if it works, then it actually makes this hunk of metal worth something versus worth nothing so uh that's kind of that was kind of my reasoning behind it and i know i can get what i'll do is if they work i'll bundle them for i don't know how much i'll ask for maybe 200 to 250 dollars that way it gets me in the good on buying this and it helps me get this out the door and um you know at that price because this mower, if it came with all the accessories, and I've got the charger too, um, runs somewhere in the neighborhood of $450. So uh, it's uh, it's definitely on the pricey side. And I'm not going to charge anywhere near that. I had to lower the, uh, the one that I sold last year to right around $300, and I took a trade on three push mowers plus I believe it was $140 to get it out of here um, so it took a while so I'm going to try and sell these for a little bit less this time because I kind of want to get them out of out of the house and with the bundle between the weed eater and the push mower you're getting probably the equivalent of 600 and some odd dollars worth of merchandise if you went and bought them out new and I'm going to try and get you know probably around $250 for them so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all the mowers out. We're going to test all of them with this battery. Kind of let each one of them run for about 10 minutes or so just to make sure that there's not really any problems with them. And uh, kind of see how long this battery lasts in them. Um, hopefully it is a good 30 to 40 minutes, like I said. Um, and if it is, then it kind of makes it worthwhile for me to purchase the weed eater. So I can use the battery in... Uh, in the mower here and you know these batteries run probably around 60 to 70 dollars by themselves so why not for you know 40 dollars more get the ch um get the charger and the weed eater because i need both um and the reason why i didn't get four amp hour batteries is because i could not for the life of me find an individually sold four amp hour battery um otherwise i definitely would have gotten one um because it's going to affect run time on the mower, but you know, anything to kind of get it started. The worst comes worse. I just tell the person, I try and give the person a little bit of room that way, if they want to buy another battery, they can buy a two amp hour battery and get and have you know, together the power and the run time of a four amp hour battery. So that's kind of the reasoning behind all of that. Um, and really, it was the, only, the best way to go, given the situation. So let me uh, put this down in the test bed and uh, 
put the battery in it and let it run for a little bit and let me show you all that as well and I'll show you all the other two mowers um, following up here on this video so I've got it down here I'm about to start it up but I don't know if y'all remember um, it's like the fourth video I posted on this channel I really want to um, organize my videos so that y'all can find and search them a little bit better and I'll get to doing get around to doing that on a, either a weekend day or a uh, a day that the weather isn't so great out here. We've had great weather the past couple weeks, so I'm uh, trying my best to uh, be outside and get stuff fixed and just be active. Um, so let me start this up, and uh, hopefully, number one, it'll start up, and number two, it'll run well. I'm just amazed at how quiet they run. I know that I've seen a video because I don't, I don't really want to try and cut grass with it because it's brand new. But um, I've seen where they like speed up and whatnot when you cut tall grass. So um, that's kind of neat about them. Um, but like I said, they run so much quieter. I'll just let y'all hear it for a second. tempted to keep one of these they're they're great little mach, uh, machines for just it's because they're so quiet um, but since I work on gas power stuff mostly it, I already got enough lawnmowers to uh, to suffice so uh, but yeah there's the first one I'm gonna let the first one run for about 10 minutes I'll get the second one out we'll look at that one and do the same thing I get the third one out. We'll look at that one and do the same thing too. So um, the, uh, the second one will be up next, unless this one's got a problem that uh, it's not showing right now. So I got the second one out here, and it's kind of interesting um, what I saw with this one. Um, first off, I saw I guess they had a clearance price on it. Fortunately, the tag got scraped off of it. Um, but I, I think it kind of looks like they were trying to sell this as a standalone item, um, without the battery in it. Um, just the way that it sh shows, you know, tested box, lithium battery blue dot is what it says on there. If y'all can see that. And then, you know, just your regular return sticker here that comes on most of them that didn't come back with the box. Of course, it has the blue dot, so that means it was tested, which means there shouldn't be any problem. But you've got the receipt back here, and that was interesting because always it's always nice to get the receipts just to see, you know, how much how much things cost for whoever bought them. Return slip. This was returned August 7th of 2017. Today's date of filming is the 22nd. So I got these mowers pretty quickly after they got returned. Usually they're about five or six months. Um, it says the mower was damaged, but they only paid $184 for it. So, uh, or who, he or she, whoever bought it. So I don't know if they. Walmart tried to sell it without the battery and as a standalone item because at $184 I, I know it was on clearance because these things are over $400 new um, and I doubt that it came with the battery and the charger. Now, that's probably why it was returned because it says it was damaged but I don't see any damage on it. Not in the battery area not under the not under the deck or anything like that so it's just one of those uh, one of those interesting things that you see sometimes because i mean you can see the mower's never been used 
mower rolls just fine everything works on it just fine so um that's probably the uh the deal uh, the first one's still running i'll show you all this one i'll get this one kind of put up together and uh running here um in just a second so the first one's done here um like i said it ran in about 10 minutes i don't know how long these batteries are going to last but it's showing i guess when it had the load on it it had two two bars now that it doesn't have a load on it it's got it's back up to three so that's about as expected um, for that two amp hour battery uh, like I said it was run for about 10 minutes so uh, easy to take out if I can do it with one hand just push you push this down push that button down and bring it out I'll do it and this one here you just push in Push in. It shows you how much it's charged. So mower number one, we know is good. All right. Let's set this down. We'll start number two. Mower number two is just slightly louder, but works just fine. Let this one run for about 10 minutes. And uh, while this is happening, I'll get number three out for us to look at. And here's the third one. This one's the one I'm kind of most concerned about because I don't know what they did with this one. But um, what they did, what it looks like anyways they decided to stick it outside in the rain so it says it was tested so it means they tried to resell it but and think about the fact that they're putting an electric mower out in the rain and the elements because I mean the plastic's all faded on it the stickers are coming off the I mean, not these stickers. I want these stickers to come off. But like, warning stickers all faded. This sticker on the back is coming off. This is another return sticker, so that's no big deal. I do want to show you all that this one also has never been used, despite how um, weathered it looks. Look under the bottom here. See, I mean, it never been used just looks like they threw it outside just for the heck of it um, so we can look inside where the battery terminals are and you can kind of see that there's a little bit of stuff in there so I, I'm not a hundred percent sure if uh, this one's gonna run but we're gonna find out <laughs> If it doesn't run, then I'll just kind of keep the deck and put a gas engine on it or something. Uh, wouldn't hurt know that much. Uh, but hopefully this one will run too, since it said it was tested. Uh, missing the bolts. This one right here must be an older model than the other two, because the way that this is bolted on is like the one I got last year. Um, so it's probably a 16 model, and the other one, the uh, this one, and that one are probably 17s. Um, so I'm gonna let the other one finish running down there, and we'll uh, we'll test this one out as long as I got enough battery life left on the battery out there. Um, then we'll you know see what we got. So after about 20 minutes of runtime, I'll show you all that the battery is still on two bars which is 
pretty good. Means you're probably going to get just like I estimated, probably around 30 to 40 minutes, which is doable if you, especially if you have a small yard. Um, so I've got it in the weathered one now. I'm a little bit nervous about starting this one, um, but shouldn't really mess anything up. If you do, y'all will see it on video. So uh, maybe we're three for three on the snappers here. Um, I, I haven't shown it, but I do have two bags. I'll put them on the nicer ones, the first two that I tested. And then this one I might just try and sell. If I get the weed, or I might try and sell, you know, as a pair for 200 or so and make, make you know, 80 bucks or so off of it. Um, versus it just sitting around. Because um, by itself, with the few people that even have these um it'd be near about impossible to sell so uh, let's try this one maybe uh maybe we'll have three for three despite this one looking kind of kind of weathered and rusted So the good news is this one works just fine too. Um, at least right now. I don't have any discharge shoots this time for them like I did that other one. But that really doesn't affect the value of the mower or any. Um, a bag for me around here may add 10 to $20. It doesn't really add much. So it's really no sweat if I don't have bags either. But just condition-wise, like I said, I'll probably only ask. What I'm going to try and do is sell them as a pair. Um, like with a weed eater. And I'm going to try and sell them all for around $250. Just, you know, your complete lawn care kit in one. That worst case scenario, you, have, you buy a second battery for so the buyer is only going to be in if they decide to buy a second battery just over $300 max on a, a, a set of equipment that retails for you know twice that much so because uh, the weed eaters are on a good deal now I, I want to see if I can get rid of one before I buy the weed eaters for or two more weed eaters um, I was able to find them online for $115. Walmart has them for around $130 some right now after tax. So I'll let this run a while in the video here. I just kind of wanted to post this one up just to kind of show you all that that was the solution that I chose in order to at least figure out how to get these things running. Um, and I will uh, report back because I'm going to post post these tonight. Post one of them tonight with the weed eater as a as a unit, and uh, see how they sell. I've already had not even a weekend. I've already had one contact about one mower that I fixed uh, Wednesday, the Black Max one. So uh, we'll see if that one goes. Um, I am anticipating that. A couple of the snappers will leave before the fall. All of them might. So uh, just stay back, stay here for updates. And I uh, appreciate y'all watching and just being interested in this. Um, I know there's not many people out here that um, do this process of buying new mowers because it is a lot of money up front, but it does give some good returns. And you just don't know what you're going to get with them either. Um, luckily, um, I made out in the good for all of them so far. So uh, let this one run. Still running good, which is good. And uh, should be a gas powered video next from Gas Powered Mars. So I appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all. So I just got a trade in here for the Craftsman 
mower that I had. Um, it's in okay shape overall. Um, I've seen worse. I've seen better. Uh, this is a little loose, but it's got the wrong uh, thing on it here. It's a, as y'all can see, it's a Husqvarna. It's got the overhead valve Briggs engine on it. Um, kind of like the older style. Uh, looks like uh, it's done a little bit of finagling with the throttle and stuff on it, but that's kind of par for the course on these. Uh, not too bad. Um, he did say that it ran and cut and that the self-propel worked, but um, it's got a couple minor problems and I should be able to fix them in, in no time, pretty much. Uh, someone just gave me a full tank of gas on it too. Uh, this right here is loose and so he had it held by a bungee strap which uh which does work and i might have to uh might have to use that because these are kind of stripped and uh this right here works actually pretty decently for uh just to give it a little bit of a tension on it um and then big thing is this is broke this poor rope i think is missing the uh teeth out of it or something to uh to grab it and it looks like a couple of the bolt this cover's a little bit loose so i just have to tighten it up uh hopefully that's not a sign that the blade is bent but and it doesn't appear to be which is good um so good little project here um i've got all the other new mowers that i'm going to be working on too but uh since i got a lot of those going i might try to fix uh fix this one real quick see if i can get it going just for the heck of it right um so it's very similar to that craftsman i sold um but uh yeah i'm gonna try and get this one fixed and uh should be decently simple i probably like i said probably won't do anything with the bungee just keep it the way it is because it does work um and this isn't this isn't loose or anything it's just a little bit worn because it's got the one height adjuster here um, but everything else is in decent shape on it clean it up uh, it's missing the or I have to put the tension back on the spring for this but uh that's, that's probably gonna be about it um, so let, let me uh, won't be able to do it today but I will uh, look at this tomorrow and see if I can uh, See if I can make good on it.